Jennifer Roberts here to show you the powerful failure system in X-Plane 11. This video was filmed using X-Plane 1102R1. X-Plane can simulate countless aircraft systems failures. Using this feature lets you experience what happens when important pieces of equipment don't do what they're supposed to in flight. It can be a great training aid for pilots or a way to make standard flights more challenging. You can access the failure screen in two ways. If you've already started a flight, go to the flight menu and pick Edit Failures. You can also set them up while in flight configuration by clicking the Customize button on the aircraft you want to use, and then on the next screen clicking on the Failures button down here. In the main part of the Failures window, we have the categories all our failure options are divided into. But first, let's take a look at the options down here towards the bottom. Here's the All Important Fix All Systems button for any failures you've accidentally turned on. But this checkbox to the right side here is the one to keep an eye on. By default, the Set Global Mean Time Between Failures box is checked, which essentially allows randomized failures to occur. The Hours box here to the right determines how frequently these random failures might occur. For example, if the Hours box is set to 1000, it means X-Plane will decide that each piece of hardware in the plane has about a 1 in a thousand chance of breaking each hour. Since the airplane has a few hundred pieces of hardware, that means a failure might occur every 5 to 20 hours or so. And if you don't want that kind of randomized excitement in your sim experience, I'd make sure this box is unchecked to prevent all random failures. To set the specific failures of your choice, you can search for a term here, or expand some categories to see the specific options within them. The World section of the Failures window contains controls for things outside of the aircraft, such as bird strikes and airport equipment failures. The other categories and subcategories contain specific failures for hundreds of different aircraft systems or even navigational aids. Once you've found the failure you want, click on the drop-down box to show the options for when it fails. You'll see the change as soon as you return to your flight if you set this field to failed. This next option requires you to bind a command to a joystick button or to the keyboard. Then pressing that button or key will cause the failure. You can also set a failure to happen at an exact altitude, speed, or time. Or you can set a mean failure time for just this specific option, instead of a global mean time like we discussed earlier. And of course you can reset it so it's always working. X-Plane 11's failure screen provides a lot of possibilities to set up different flight emergencies and unexpected problems. Now that you know the ins and outs, you can hone your problem-solving skills or make your flight a lot more challenging.